All right guys, welcome back to my channel and to my shop. So today, I just wanna talk a little bit about bandsaw. So this right here is my first bandsaw. It's just a little hobbyist model that I got from Home Depot, it's Ryobi. I use it for lightweight cuts and I put it on this little mobile cart so I can kind of roll it around the shop. What I have now in the shop is this Rockwell Model 10 bandsaw. It, I'm not quite sure how old it is, but it's pretty old. It does work. And I need to kind of, you know, do some investigation on how to restore a tool because obviously it could use a little bit of uh, sprucing up. So today what I want to do is I, I actually purchased a couple of bandsaw blades. One of them here is this Olsen bandsaw blade. I believe this was like 10 bucks on Amazon. And then this one here is an all pro PGT or precision, precision ground tool blade. This one was, I want to say 20 bucks. So I don't really know what the difference is. I did recently watch a video on YouTube where they said you want to get a blade that has three teeth per inch. Now this one here has the four teeth per inch and this one has the three teeth per inch right here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this thing up and uh, replace the blade. Right now the blade that I have in here, I don't, obviously I don't know the quality, I don't know how long it's been in here, but um, I think it's due for a change. So before we uh, go forward, let me go ahead and open these up and try to get a look at them and see what they look like. So these are actually seven, this one is, oh, they're not even the same size. This one is a 70 and a half inch blade. Um, it's a half inch wide and four teeth per inch. It's 0 0.025 in thickness and it's got a, a hook tooth. And yeah, so that's that one. This one here on the other hand is a 72 and a half inch blade. It is a half inch wide, three teeth per inch, and it is 0 0.025 in thickness as well. So just looking at the blade, it is a lot thicker, you know, in depth than the blade that is on there now. Let me just turn this to the side, and you can kind of see the difference in depth there. Let's take a look at the other one. Oh, this one's an Olsen as well. I, didn't, I just noticed that. So one's a professional series bandsaw blade and the other one is not. So just taking a look at them up close, they do look like they're made out of a different type of um, metal. This one does uh, seem to look like it's probably a cheaper quality blade. It does have the four teeth per inch and this one has the three teeth per inch. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this cheaper one a try. And if I don't like it, then I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this one here. So let me go ahead and try to uh, fire this up and, and uh, let's take a look inside and see what it looks like. Taking a look here at the bandsaw. So it's got these four knobs. Let me go ahead and unscrew those. Let's go ahead and pull this apart. And okay, so we've got our knob here to loosen the tension on the very top. On the back, we have this knob, which actually turns the wheel and kind of bevels it in and out away from this top area to help you get the blade off. So right now the blade's pretty taut. So let's go ahead and take it off. So I'm going to loosen here. And then I'm going to loosen the back here. Kind of bevel that over. Let's see if I can pull this down a bit. And there we go. Slide it down a bit. And there, we got it off. Now I have to actually take out a screw in the front. And now we'll go ahead and Take this little plate out and then let's see how this actually comes out of here. <clears throat> and we got that blade off. 
So this one here is a 70 and a half inch blade. And what I want to try to do with this bandsaw, I believe it's only like a third horsepower. But what I want to do is try to see if I can resaw smaller boards with this. Um, don't know if it'll work, but that's why I have the thicker blade to try to do that. And then this, uh, the Ryobi that I have over here, I'll use that for, you know, finer work. So we've got it off. Let's see if this will fit. <clears throat> So this actually may be too small of a blade to tell you the truth. Let me grab the 72 and see if I fare better. So I may have to go with the more pricey blade after all. These things are dangerous. I'm pretty sure I could probably take that guard off I'm trying to do this without doing that. Hopefully I'm not damaging the teeth too much by doing this. Okay, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and turn it back a bit. It looks good. And then now let's get the tension left to right. Yeah, I see that bolt needs to be adjusted. 